God bless you wherever you are connecting from. Remember, distance is not a barrier for the power of God and for the Spirit of God. So by the grace of God, today we'll be talking about the Spirit of God is authority and power. That is our message for today. The Spirit of God is authority and power. Many today claim to be Christians, but not in spirit, in authority, and in power. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, after he received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the Bible said he came down and he started doing things in authority and in power. He started speaking in authority and in power to make great changes, to make things to happen, to make the impossible things to be possible. Ask yourself today, are you truly born of the Spirit? Are you truly a Christian? Those who shout, who shout, who repeat words continuously, repeating the same words, their faith has not yet been connected to the Spirit. When you confront the devil when it is time for battle, you speak in authority and in power. You tell the devil where to go and where not to go. Yes. Each time Jesus Christ want to pray, the Bible said, he goes to the mountain or to a secret place and communicate with God in spirit and in truth. And when he come down to face his battles, I mean his daily mission to cast out devil to heal the sick, he speak with authority and in power. I'm not saying as a Christian you should not pray, but we should need to know when it's time to communicate with God in spirit and in truth, and when it is time to rebook, when it is time to bound, when it is time to lose. Jesus said, I have given you authority and power over every principalities, over every demonic kingdom, over everything. Go and use this authority. It simply means, we are not calling God from heaven to come down to make things happen. We are his representative on earth. That is why the scripture calls us ambassadors of Christ. Okay, let's open to the book of Mark. I want to show you something very important. Mark chapter 4. Let's go to verse 36. Let us start from 35. And Jesus rebuked him saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. Jesus confronts demons. That demon that is causing you stagnation. That demon that is causing you sickness. That demon that is causing you frustration. Jesus did not go there and say, You demon, I command you come out. Come out. Oh, fire. You get to come out. You get to come out. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, wherever this demon they are ganging up. No. The Bible said, He commanded the demon to come out. And when the devil had thrown him, in the midst, he came out of him and hurt him not. Let's go to verse 36. And they were all amazed and speak among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power commanded the unclean spirit, and they came out. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Verse 37. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. Christians are not known by just praying, I mean shouting. Christians are known by the authority and power they exercise by faith. Today, you need to look at the devil straight in his eyes and command him to leave. One thing the devil don't want believers to know is this. He don't want you to understand or to come to the full knowledge that you have authority and power to command him. That is why he attack Christians and put fear in their heart so that they cannot express the authority that has been given unto them. Today, you need to start to pray with authority and power. There is two things that happen in our life when we are praying. There is prayer where we communicate with God in our silent time. We talk to him through his word. We hear from him. Be with me. We thank him. We appreciate him. We say, thank you, Heavenly Father. 
we communicate with God is different from when we are going out for battle to confront the devil. Are you with me? So these are two things. And again, when we talk about praying in the spirit, is between you and the Holy Ghost, keeping him active in you, feeling his consciousness in you, that is between you and the Holy Spirit. And there is also between you and the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost, communicating in prayers. When we go out to fight the devil, we go out in the authority God has given unto us. Just like our Lord and Savior did in the book of Luke chapter 4, when you read from verse 35 to 37, you see, he commanded the unclean spirit. That unclean spirit is the one that brings sickness, stagnation, pain, rejection. Name them whatever situation you are passing through. Those are unclean spirit. So you don't go there and be speaking or shouting like one who don't know where he belongs. You use authority to command the devil. So right now, look at your heart. Are you using the authority of the Holy Spirit that has been given unto you to rebook the devil? We rebook them. We command them and they obey. Ask the Holy Spirit to unveil himself through you. You want to know him more. You want to know who he is to you. You want to know what has been freely given unto you. Before you start to look for fame, before you start going out for evangelism, if you have not yet discovered that authority and power is invested in Christ and it is given unto you to use it to bound, to lose, to set the captives free, then you will continue to pray and pray without result. So may God bless you as you stand in the foundation of using the authority and power that has been given unto you through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Emmanuel, God is with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Distance is never a barrier for this word of God to walk in the spirit.